done. His cowl is destroyed. But where's Krell? Hiding, I guess. Just as... Enough! Elder Zilrak, where is Krell? In the pit. There shall be no more bloodshed. He will now face you as he should have from the start. <laughs> will he? So far all he's done is run. Well, he can't anymore. This is Zarek's will, and he knows it. Follow me. Fine. Lead the way. Yes? Sure. Are you sure this isn't a trap? I am. Zilrak is the eldest priest of the Firewielders. He's been opposing Krell from the start. It is time, Krell. There will be no more bloodshed among our own, but a duel. As it should have taken place hours ago if you hadn't run. This is ridiculous! He allied himself with the Pale Skins! There can be no wisdom without strength, and no strength without wisdom. You know the traditions. Fuck the traditions! Zarek's fangs! I'm Krell, I'm your High Chieftain, and this piece of filth is a traitor! You hear me? A traitor! You're the traitor, Krell. You never cared for the fate of our people. This was about you and your pride from the start. Now, unless you're the coward I think you are, face me. <laughs> coward? Me? Weren't you the one who left your blood sister in that cave to rot? Careful. Why? Don't you want your pale skin friends to know? I wonder why. All right. Enough of the talking. Face me. It has begun. Don't intervene. <laughs> Bloody traitor! You won't get away with this! <laughs> Balrak, I'll crush you! Zarek! And it's done. Gore. By Zarek's blood, by his fire, and by his will, I hereby proclaim you the new High Chieftain of the Fire Wielders. Thank you. I know many of you have lost kin today. It was a battle that could have been avoided. But it was necessary. And as the struggle tells, we will come forth as a stronger people. I did this for you. Huh? Thank you, Tahar. You made this possible. I'm just glad the bloodbath is over. So am I. One more question, though. What do you fight for? I know it has something to do with the Shapers, since you opened the gate to their city. But why? What for? We're trying to stop the bloodburn. We've made camp in the lost city of Mullendir, and it seems that we need two Shaper relics to continue our search. But without troops, we can't get them. One of them is in the middle of the Black Sea. The other one in Aeonir's Blade. Hmm. Interesting. All right. As promised, you will have our help. I'll choose some of our best warriors and craftsmen, and we'll join you in Molandir. I will be there too. I want to know who I'm fighting with. Until then, Tahar. And may your blood never boil.
this way, right? Few people know that there is a reason for Bargagor's lifelessness. As though covered by an arcane veil, the mountain and its surrounding wasteland bear a strong, magical signature. While the orcs attribute this to the battle of the renegade gods that was fought here, human and elven scholars consider it to be merely a magical anomaly. Superstition or not, the fact is that this stray magic has drawn and continues to draw the attention of a great many dangerous creatures. From the undead, to demons. <clears throat> Wait a moment. What is it? The strange human I've been telling you about. The one with the powerful aura. I think he is here, along with something else. Something else? Yes. Let's be careful. Understood. Ellen's reins. These goblins were mutilated. What creature would do such a thing? Well, Bargagor isn't the most hospitable place on Eo. So the answer is... Mini. Uh, alright. Why not? Did you hear that? Yes. And I'm not sure I like it. Shit. What in blazes are you doing here? Get out! Kill that thing! Now! you do? You don't seem too happy that we helped you. How did you guess? I invoked that demon. The Devourer. You? Why? To share a shrub of fucking grapes with her. To fight her, damn it! What did you think? Her? Yeah. I know that thing doesn't look like your average sailor man's fantasy, but according to the Encyclopedia Sinistra, Devourers only ever possess women, thus the pronoun. You summoned a demon to fight it? <sighs> well, for that magic you carry in you, you certainly know shit about demonology. You're not a scholar, I take it? I was a battle mage. Royal army. Figures. To learn how to control a demon race, you first need to fight it. Tame it, as we say. And guess what? That's just what I was trying to do until you popped in and nullified the fucking ritual. That's interesting. Can you tell me more about the process of taming a demon? What am I, your bloody teacher? Go read a book. We found a bunch of mutilated goblins further up the cave. Did the Devourer do this? Yeah. I had some difficulties while casting the ritual, let's put it that way. A demon doesn't always show up where you want to conjure him. Sometimes when they sense something else near the gate, they simply materialize right there. In her case, it was the goblins. That was foolish. She might have left the cave and gone rampant in the cows. Well, she didn't, did she? And even if that would have been the case, you orcs know how to handle yourselves in battle. So, you just came to this cave in Bargagor to battle a demon? Why should I tell you?
We could use someone with your talents. Well, I hate to break it to you, but I'm not a mercenary. Now, if you'll excuse me... Fine. Then I'll leave you be. Thanks. So, Tahar, we're done here? Then let's get back to the task at hand. Wait. Tahar? As in... Shit. You're his... son? The betrayer's child? I am. Huh. That's... unexpected. What in blazes are you doing here? I mean, shouldn't you be up in Greykeep with all your royal friends? I should. But things happened. You want to hear the story? Hmm. Huh. Yeah, I think I do. The Bloodbird. Huh. Am I the only one who finds it fucking ironic that the leader of the Purity of Light is trying to save mankind? Well, Lacane saved my life, but I owe him. That's all this is. Makes sense. You know, I've always been somewhat fascinated by your father. How so? Well, his methods might have been questionable. He was damn right about everything he said. He saw this whole shit show coming before anyone else did. You mean the persecution of mages? Yeah. There's never been a secret that the people fear what they don't know, is it? It was only a question of time until that fucking hatred would pop open like a blister full of pus. Your father, Isamo Tahar, saw that coming and tried to stop it from happening. He had the guts to do what other people were too afraid to do. It wasn't about ideals. My father just wanted power. I think you got it wrong. He wanted to see his vision through, and that's what he needed power for. Anyway, your story is as intriguing as your father's, I'll give you that. And since I don't exactly have many obligations, I'll take you up on your offer. If it still stands. Why the sudden change of mind? I told you. I like the idea of working with Asamo Tahar's living heir. And also I'm curious about what there is to this blood burn. Well then, welcome aboard. Thanks. We can also talk once we reach that city of yours. Mullendir, wasn't it? You said it's in Iskander? Yes. But just wait at the border of Bargagor. We'll join you once we've done what we came here to do. Sounds great. Let me just clean up the mess here first. Sure. <laughs> Odd man.
Just give the word. Interesting. Yes. Danger up ahead! Now would you look at that? Let's see... 